not letting these guys win. You're, you're not coming to my town and peddling this poison. That's East Liverpool officer Christopher Green. He's back on the job after accidentally coming into contact with fentanyl. Now, we've been following this story since Sunday, and tonight we're going to hear straight from the officer himself. And he has some pretty strong words for anyone dealing dangerous drugs like heroin and fentanyl. First News reporter Dan Marcel sat down with the officer today. He gives our top story at 6. Well, Officer Christopher Green told me he wanted to get back to work as soon as possible. And while it was a scary situation for him and his loved ones, he knew it was the right thing to do. I never dreamed that, uh, that something dangerous would be such a minute piece of powder. Officer Chris Green says the last four days have felt like a scene from a movie. Just a few grains of fentanyl powder knocked him unconscious Friday night. For the first time today, he talks about what happened when he helped with that traffic stop. Here what they were doing, they were trying to dispose of the, the drugs that they had on. They threw them on the floor and then were trying to smash them into the carpet to dispose of them. When you see somebody moving around erratically like that, your, your worst fear is that, oh my God, I'm, I'm going to be shot or something dangerous could happen. The two men were arrested and evidence was collected from the scene. Afterwards, another officer noticed a bit of white powder on the back of Green's jacket. We were told by the subjects at the scene that it was cocaine. But it wasn't cocaine. It was the synthetic opioid fentanyl. Instinctively, I reach around to pull the tail of my sweatshirt to the front. By then, my thumb, my finger was already in it. An hour later, the 32-year-old passed out from the drug. He'd absorbed it through his skin and woke up later in the hospital. I'm starting to realize what's going on, but at the same time, I'm... I'm in disbelief. There's, there's no way that this has happened to me. Now, four days later, Green doesn't want this incident to stop him from doing his job. I'm ready. I, I, they're not going to win. You're, you, you're not coming to my town and peddling that poison. You might get away with it today, but just believe you better be looking over your shoulder because we're going to be kicking your door in. Now, Officer Green says he hopes his story will bring attention to state and federal government about the help his area needs to help fight the drug epidemic. In the studio, Dan Marcel, WKBN 27 First News.